Moving on to the bad OCs. I believe we have to go back to our good old buddy, dear friend of the show, buddy old pal of mine, guy who can do no wrong. Did you forget my name again, mummified? Smooth sailing pony. <laughs> this is Racing Heart. Uh, she is a mix of a changeling and a unicorn. She currently resides in Baltimore as an as an owner of Heart Motor Coach Company, which makes racing cars. Her father was an earth pony, and her mother was a changeling. So th the father wasn't, like, a, like, at all a part of her life, really. And her mother had to raise her in secret, because apparently hybrids within the changeling society are frowned upon. So... Eventually, she just kind of ran away because, like, eh, I don't, okay, whatever. I don't get to even talk to anyone anyway. What the hell is the point? Eventually, she was taken in by a family in Equestria. Um, she had, uh, she was able to go along railroads and stuff, just be more free and explore. And on those rails, she met. A pony that was very interested and very involved in motor racing, and had at the time he owned the shop that she now currently owns, and um, she took over for him after he pretty much imbued all of his knowledge to her about racing and stuff. So eventually, she gained her cutie mark, which is actually a cutie mark, not just changeling magic of oh hey look a cutie mark haha <laughs> it's not real but no one has to know yeah that's actually a cutie mark and it stays even in her changeling form but the colors are like flipped yeah it seems as though she can only switch between those two forms despite most changelings being able to switch any forms at will which kind of makes sense, because she, you know, is only partially a changeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she loves racing, and she loves building racing cars. But she also, unfortunately, has to moonlight as an <laughs> escort for uh, oh. fe feeding purposes. Because, uh, you know, changeling. So does she have um, to eat, like, both love and human food? Yeah. Or pony food? Mm, that was not really stated anywhere. Um, hmm. uh, her goals in life are to find true love and acceptance and to, you know, make amends with mother and to find her father because he's just kind of apparently wandering out somewhere. He's He's not dead... He's just wandering somewhere. And, uh, she, she gives off a confident air, but, and is known to be brash and reckless, but under that she's warm and passionate, and she mainly just, she mainly just wants to find a life partner, because she doesn't steal love. She only get and she only feeds on the love that is given to her, though in this case, they buy it. And she's a bit unpredictable, she's an incredible flirt, and unfortunately also, she is an alcoholic. Ooh. Mm. I feel really bad for ending on a bad note like that, but I think I've said at least most of the stuff. What bad note? You know, her being an alcoholic. Yeah. I like the fact that they added uh, her being al an alcoholic because, yes, that could be viewed as a bad thing, but as a character, it makes the character better because it gives the character something more to it. It's not just, oh, she's always happy. Oh, she's always nice. She always does all her work. Oh, she works as an escort. A. Okay. A bad thing. Uh, she's an alcoholic. Okay. A bad thing. Uh, but these are bad things that make a good character. Not good as in good or, uh, uh, good or bad, 
or uh, you know, hero or evil. Alignment. Uh, not not alignment, good or bad, but good as in quality, good. Like it's a well-rounded character. That's my two cents. I I in my version or how I see this character is that, like they do that just because of the fact that they have to live basically being an escort part time just to sort of survive. And it's sort of, I mean, that would be a really hard life. <laughs> like, that would that would not be fun. And I think that's a, 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 a it, like, it does make the character well-rounded and other things like that. And it gives them an actual flaw. Like, being a flirt, I don't see how that's really a flaw. Unpredictable can be. But, it, like, alcoholism, that is a definite flaw, which is something that a lot of characters don't have. Also... This brings me to, it makes me think of another question, uh, Smooth. What makes this OC part of your good part two? I'm just not really a big fan of how her coloration blends together. Mainly for the pony, but also, obviously, for the changeling. The changeling has a little less leeway room because it's just the opposite of the cutie mark and then the basic changeling colors. But... For the pony, the the green eyes with the cream and the brown just don't really work together. Also, the cream... Every time I look at the cream of the coat, it just seems weird to my eyes. Especially, like, right after looking at the brown and then looking at the coat. It's just like... Mm, mm. I think it's just... It's just so light by comparison... And also, in comparison to the stroke? Yeah. I... Which, I think that having a very light pastel can be okay, but might want to bump up that a little bit. <laughs> or bump it down. Or bump the stroke. One or the other. Just see yeah, how it works. I'd, I'd probably say make the the fill color a bit darker because to help match with the brown because brown is naturally a really dark color, and, and as well the green is also pretty dark, and the extremely dark grays of the wrenches, and the pretty dark pink of the heart. I don't, I don't know. It, it just makes a weird disconnect, and I, I'm not a fan of it. Also, that cream and the brown, yeah, those work together. The Pink, generally not one that goes well with pink or cream and brown, but and then green also doesn't go well with them, and usually doesn't go well with pink either. And then incredibly dark gray, and I'm just like, mm. I, I really like the colors of the cutie mark on the changeling, though. They seem to work better there. Yeah, I think they work fine everywhere. Um. I find this character has a lot of things that work together with other things. That, like, things are mostly really well thought out, and other things are based off things logically. This character is very logical, which makes sense because they are a thinker. Yeah. Her hair, where her horn parts out, looks kind of weird, but besides that, she's kind of cute. Also don't know how her hair is defying gravity like that. Neither do I. Wait, how do you mean, what do you mean defying gravity? It shouldn't be going off to the side like that. It should be going down. Even with the tie, it should just be falling down. Mm, okay. I get it. I generally really like her. She's incredibly well thought out. And I really, really appreciate that. Even having the uh, um, personality thing in the upper left and all of this information also has gigantic head cannons about changeling stuff which, below which, which we, helps which we for... didn't even touch well because we're not on changeling oh, we're oh on... yeah no we wouldn't even character. have time <laughs> yeah check them out though yeah it's cool well then moving on to the next oc that means we're moving on to commander so commander oh, yeah. Commander, so uh, tell us all about your OC you brought to the party, the Commander. So, to this party, I brought uh, Nova Wildpaw, or Nova. They're 
a female who's a cross between a were pony, which I mean, we can get into how naming a were pony thing works, but it's beside the point. And a Pegasus, normal cutie mark is uh, like a paw print, just a simple paw print, and then her cutie curse mark, which I'm assuming is just connected to the like nighttime wear pony thing is basically the normal one with a black moon black crescent moon around it mm-hmm. their uh their home is the frozen nerth which i'm not sure is there a horse porn uh, uh, hor- <laughs> <laughs> is there is there a horse pun in there because so th- mm. they they like animals in the winter um they dislike ponies and uh full moons their strength is Animals, survival skills, and cold resistance, and their weakness is that she can't actually fly, which is probably unfortunate being a hybrid as a, pe- as a Pegasus hybrid. Especially if you have wings. Yeah. yeah. What's the point? Her talent is turning into a beast and communicating with animals, and then for personality, she's generally cold um, when, like, with most ponies, but when mo- nobody's around, she's generally easygoing. I'm assuming. Specifically with animals, she's very kind and like it. it probably seems to like them more than no, ponies. no. She's just she's just a nice person to nothing. Yeah, yeah. When no one's around, she's just okay. She's like, like, I just imagine she's just walking around by herself. She's like, everything is awesome. See, somebody's like, go away. But uh, she doesn't really know how to socialize and or how like uh, common ponies do things uh, like. Uh, or she's confused on how common ponies do social things and doesn't even really get it and is very blunt when she is talking with ponies but she's curious about her world the world around her um i'll try to fly through this uh backstory or and stuff she was born in the frozen nor- uh nerth in uh sort of a remote or she and she would use uh remote villages and or and so she's because of that she's used to like remote villages and sort of untamed wilderness and as a young filly she ran off into the uh like in the full moon and there was a festival celebrating the end of the year she wanted to go with her mom and her dad but she was too young so she snuck out of the house and got attacked by a were pony which again like how, should we just say were pony because it's simpler but uh technically it'd be a werewolf because where is the shape shifting yeah to and yeah you're changing into a wolf, not a pony. You're already yeah. a pony. Well, they're already Pegasus. Yeah, but j- j- we'll just say we're a pony because simplicity, whatever. Mm. I don't know. A werewolf pony. Um, When the werewolf pony bit into her wing, because that's where she bought, uh, where it bit, uh, it caused a lot of problems that allowed her... Um, to like, or made it so she couldn't close her wings, and even bending them at all would cause pain, which is why in all of the pictures here, her wings seem to be open. Do we actually have a color for this pony, or is it all gray and black? Um, it, it, uh, her, her, blue. her coat her and mane and stuff used to not be gray, but it seems like, uh... As she got older, I'm assuming surrounding the after she got bit by the werewolf pony, they slowly started to become this gray, except for her eyes. Which is what I'm reading. Which became worse than gray. Blue. (laughs) You mean the best color in Smooth's opinion? How dare you! Yeah, yeah no, right. listen it here. Her eyes are an is. amazing you don't need to because of Smooth's opinion. How dare you? I don't know how or why her color would drain oh. out of her. I mean, you know, you don't hear uh, about more like a wolf. Well, but there you are such things as brown with wolves a curse because a curse can be anything. Yeah, a curse could be anything, and an explosion could do anything to a person. But it's just the fact that you kind of need to. It's, again, one of these things that you need to build the world around it a little bit more. If it's just the fact, or it, as it's explained, again, it doesn't make sense. But if you explain why this is a thing that happens in this world, then you can kind of get behind it a little bit easier. 
But yeah, to improve this character, I would probably recommend uh, uh, maybe fleshing out the curse a little bit more. Uh, her cutie mark shouldn't be pure black. That's just gross. Um, maybe uh, explain why she has anime haircut. I assume it'd probably be because of you know werewolfism and where and wolves are and werewolves especially are generally seen as gigantic hair. Yeah, but I think it would look nice. Like, doesn't it? I think it says somewhere in here that she her hair starts getting messier because she gets older. But I'm like, it doesn't look messy. It looks stylized in a way. Like, she has these spikes all over the place. Looks pretty messy to me. What if it's not necessarily... It looks like a mess, but it doesn't look messy. What if instead of it just naturally becoming more messy, it's just... She just doesn't brush it anymore, and it's one, and it just. I think that's what it mean. I think that's what they mean by that. No, but it's kind of ambiguous. They just say, "Hey, the hair is starting to become more messy." Well, me, is it through the hair being like, "Ooh, we're going to be weirder now," or is it just her just not caring about her hair anymore and just letting it go? It's not an absolutely awful OC or anything like that, but there's definitely things that could be either elaborated or expanded upon to like flesh out how the character and all this stuff works. I think there's something... There's a lot of tropes sort of uh, surrounding it to a degree, like... uh, Now, actually, really quickly, this actually brings me to a good uh, question, is were they good at communicating with animals beforehand, or was that afterwards because she is the werewolf pony? That's a good question. Because that's her talent. But it says that she's also very kind to animals as being half wolf. I I kind of assume that Equestria is the universe where fate and everything is predetermined completely. Yeah, there's so, a lot of predeterminism. So there there is no there is no version where she could possibly not be a werewolf. No, no, I I, no, I agree. I just think it's it, like it would be interesting to see whether she got her cutie mark after being bitten, and that's how she was able to communicate with animals, which gave her talent, or whether she was good beforehand, and then that actually helped her by her being able to communicate better with animals. I think she's really cute. Didn't get to say that earlier, but she's incredibly cute. Anyway. So, (laughs) moving on from that OC... We're going to take a look at the next OC in the lineup, so that means we're going to go on to good friend of the show, good compadre, friend of the show. good friend of the show. No, that's what he said for you, too. This is Brucey, the shark pony. I'm pulling a smooth this week. I have a soft spot for shark ponies. This is fucking adorable. And uh, Brucey is a shark pony in Equestria, and she has some friends. Uh, one of her friends is named is Ocean. Uh, her full name is Brucie. That's it. Because unlike some pony groups, she only has one name. I don't get it. I don't understand the Brucie part, but whatever. It's, it's okay. Uh, she collects seashells and sells them. That's her job. Innocent job, I like it. Does she do uh, it by the seashore? No, she collects them on the ocean because mummified, she's a shark pony. And just like a shark pony or a fish, she can't breathe on land. So then where would she sell them? Sell them at the the corner store. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just saying, it's like, okay, if she is selling it to other people who... If she can't get to the people who can't get in the ocean, then what's the point of selling them? She has a friend named Ocean the Orca. Who can walk? Since she's a mammal, she can walk on land for short periods of time. So she just gives Orca the fucking seashells. Orca. Orca's a mammal. <laughs> okay. Uh, Go on. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Go on. That's it. That's it? That's literally... That's it. Oh, god damn it. Were you not, were you not <laughs> reading it along with him? Because it looked exactly like you were asking questions he was just about to answer the entire well, time. Well, considering the fact that mm-hmm. I like to listen to my friends rather than reading along... I never read along in any story. I just like listening to my friends talk about those. But, yeah, but you do the, read The exactly. answers were literally going to be the next things he was saying. Oh, whoops. Oh, I like see. Or because a mammal. One. She can for short periods of time. Okay. <laughs> Got it. I'm 
I'm all caught up. Orca's a door. Or fucking goddamn it. Aren't, Bruce, aren't orcas a fucking goddamn it? Aren't orcas, you know. Whales? Killer whales? Yeah, yes. killer whales, and therefore not mammals. That's I thought whales were mammals. No, I, I no. Actually, uh, no. Orcas are actually. They're, they're technically killer whales, but they're actually closer related to dolphins. Either <laughs> way. Part of the dolphin family. Not and really able to go are, on land and be like, ugh. Well, yeah, that's I'm true. Sell they, these things. I, they are mammals, I'm pretty sure. They are technically mammals, which they're eh, mammali- mammalia. Mammalia. Uh, but she's really cute looking, and I like shark pony designs. That's just because I really like sharks. Uh, I also like how her ears are small because she has tiny little shark ears. It's funny. I like it, and she has fins. It's adorable. She has double fins. I don't understand that. Tr- sorry. Double fins all the way. You, uh, those are real fins. Yeah. What? That's a real thing. Yeah. Sharks have two fins. Yeah. Sharks have two yeah. sets of fins. The two up front that you always see, like up front, and then they have two smaller fins on the lower back area, or like further back on the body. That is a thing. Okay. That is a thing. Educate yourself. Get okay, good. I guess, uh, guys, I can't do any more of the episode. I have to actually go educate myself about sharks before I can continue this. <laughs> I Except still learn mom's things. Love. Well, see you later. Except mom's love in your life. Anyways, uh, I like uh, I like her cutie mark because it's simple, but I wish I knew more about it because I don't understand what it does or what's her special talent because she has a job of selling seashells, but she's, her talent has something to do with the shark tooth. She actually murders the seashells from the ground. She sells sea shells so that, and shark scales also are. Shark are, scales. Should, should be considered as well. No, 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 no. Shark sea scales. Shells. No, sh- shark <laughs> teeth. Sorry. Shark, shark scales, teeth everyone. are, by some shark people's scales. definition, probably the most. Sea... One of the most slick animals around got them scales, though. They have. Actually, they don't. They have little tiny bumps, uh, de- 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 derma dentals. Man, derma your, dentals. Enun- your enunciation has gotten horrid. Okay, when we're talking about <laughs> seashells down by the seashore, I'll tell you later. Well, I guess but anyway, she sells seashells down by the seashore. You're terrible. That's all. Sh- sh- anyway. I don't know. I think I like the idea because you do find the shark teeth by the beach. So if she is a person who gathers sea shells, she could technically have some kind of workaround with that. Or the fact that she may live a very shark-like lifestyle. Or her cutie mark could be the fact that she is just a shark. Or it could be literally anything because she does not describe what it means. Well, then describe more of your pony's backstory there, buddy. Uh, and also, I like her, the the little addition of like gills. That's yeah, cute. definitely helpful because you know, otherwise she wouldn't be able to breathe. Yeah, that logically. Would suck. Uh, I don't understand why your name is Brucey, but well, technically she because technically she's not in the same culture as regular ponies, so why would she go by the same rules necessarily? Well, I just don't know why Brucey specifically. No, mm. why? Maybe it's a cultural thing. It's an Australian thing. Anyways, uh, she has really nice long hair. It's cute. I don't see the purpose of having really long hair if you're going to be spending your entire life because she in the doesn't ocean. cut it because she doesn't have to care about cutting. If it. she's a shark pony, why would she yes, be growing hair in the of first the place? Pony she's a aspect pony, why she pony has part. Hair. <sighs> Also, how would she know to cut it? Maybe that's because... just a thing that in their society doesn't really happen. So every every shark pony's just swimming around with really long hair, and they're like, "Oh, this is so inconvenient. Why is hair so inconvenient?" Oh. But yeah, besides that, uh, the one thing I would definitely just uh, say to work on is to give us more backstory about these shark ponies, and give us more backstory about Brucey and maybe Orca. She's cute. She's very cute. And that is all I have to say about her. 
Yeah, I think I think she's adorable. I really like her shark colors, but I feel as though her mane doesn't work completely with it. It, I mean, the colors do work together, but maybe not in an MLP standard. The mane just seems like way too dark, but that may be just me or something. I don't know. It's a it's a little dark, but it's not. I don't think it's too bad. I mean, color wise, it works well with the rest of the pony. It just seems dark. It's, and it does get that's, very dark at times. And that's my. It'd be cool to have more story, like you guys were saying. I mean, you guys pretty much said most of the things that need to be said, but I like her. Uh, moving on to the final bad OC this week. Uh, this is uh, Muddy Splats. Now, I got a little bit of a description, thanks to our intrepid investigators on the, on the Ox crew. Uh, uh, they are uh, in their early teens, based around kind of pony age things we don't know. Pseudo pony uh, age. Exactly. Uh, they, have, they are, since it's a hybrid episode, they are an earth pony and deer mix hybrid. They obviously are a male, so he is a dude. Uh, he likes jumping in puddles, giving young ponies rides on his back, and giving gifts to ponies, uh, as well as as well as the rain, which I guess would go hand in hand with likes jumping in puddles. So it's like, yeah, they go hand in hand, or hoof in hoof. Uh, he dislikes being teased for his horns and lack of a cutie mark. Um, he also dislikes bath time and hot water, and he fears. Weather, weather. Oh, he fears large crowds. So Muddy Splats was an orphan who used to have a lot of nightmares. He looked up to his roommate, Pastel Dreamer, and wanted to be just like her. At one point, his nightmare got so bad that he didn't want to leave the room. Pastel got worried and made made his made his a pillow using her magic. It helped significantly, and she got her cutie mark. Then when they were outside... So when they were outside the orphanage's playground, they met Smart Cloud. Smart Cloud got her cutie mark. Uh, Muddy Splats got uh, got sad that he couldn't, you know, that he could never get a cutie mark, being part deer. When they got older, uh, they met uh, Smart Cloud again, and now they travel the world together and entertain young ponies for their birthdays. Um, uh, so yeah, that's Muddy Splats' little thing. I find it interesting that they would travel to entertain young ponies for their birthdays, even though they it says that he fears large crowds. So would it be wouldn't entertaining ponies for their birthdays mean sometimes having to go to birthday parties and aren't parties meant to be a little bit larger? See, you know, Mofad, I feel like you're take you're going with like large crowds and like taking large crowds to an extreme minimum. There are pe- like there are crowds that get to like hundreds of thousands of people. I feel a birthday party is not that big a deal. It probably it doesn't seem like it would be if they would go and entertain pe- ponies on birth- their birthdays for a, like living. Hmm. That's just I guess me. the definition of a large crowd. I guess could be m- m- or a little bit ambiguous at this point. But yeah, I get I get your point. Yeah. So it's a good good part two. It's no, it's not a good part two. It's mildly decent. Mildly decent mildly. part two. <laughs> because I don't know. I I, I find so, it interesting. So wait, so wait. This section is mildly decent and good. Part two. <laughs> I think the one that the now that I actually know the story, the main problem or disagreement I have with this pony is the fact that. Eh, I'm not too keen on the colors, even though, yeah, the colors are technically something that would go along with a deer in our world and being able to kind of make that uh, similarity in the color scheme. But when it comes to ponies, I just, I don't know. I like them when they're green, blue, purple, and teal, you know? They're just something about having fun colors. Just to help green, yeah, stand blue, color. purple, and teal. So us. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Got it. Anyway. Wow. Narcissism. Well, I'm not in there. You have blue. How? how... Apparently. But I'm well, not. Well, he I'm has not... blue in his eyes. 
Or mm. purple, I mean. Although yeah. I'm not a giant fan of the purple and the brown together. Are you kidding me? You love purple. No, no, this. You're not You're not, not a big fan no, of I'm not this a fan purple. of how this... If you would listen, I'm not a fan of this purple working together with the brown and the main. They don't work well that. together. I can see that, yeah. Those eyes. I will find an example of blue and purple working together and show you. Brown Commander, what's up? Purple. Commander, what's up? I was just saying that the, those eyes have so many dots, so many highlights. Yeah, they're filled with wonderment of the universe, <laughs> and they, they no, see... they aren't even they aren't they aren't they aren't even filled with wonderment of the universe. They are filled with the universe. Ah, uh, I do like the fact that there are the antlers on this one, and the fact that his tail looks like a cotton tail deer. I do like that part. What is your opinion on the hooves? The hooves? Oh, be, well, he likes jumping around in mud, so no, no, you know no, that's no, cool. no, Like, look at the I, hooves. And then they have the like the little. They're deer cloven hooves. feet. They're cloven yeah. hooves. Cloven hooves. They're many, not feet. <laughs> I have cloven feet. It's fun. I like it. It's really interesting design. That's one of the things that you know after like sitting down with it a little bit more, it starts appealing to you after a while. But, I don't know. It just kind of sucks that this person, this pony, can't get a cutie mark. I feel like he's been, you know, fucked over. <laughs> um, I also like the way that they sort of did the cross between deer and pony, because they have, like, the spots on the flank like a lot of deer do, and they have sort of, like like we mentioned, the, like the antlers and the cloven um, hooves and stuff. And I think it's done pretty well. Uh it would be interesting to see maybe the body style change a little bit uh, because it, like I mean it's pretty much like the body is shaped almost exactly like a normal pony it'd be interesting to see that change a little bit for the deer but maybe a little bit like lankier or something like that taller I don't know that'd be interesting to spite you mummified I actually really do like its colors a lot well fuck you then uh, not just to spite you, though, because I think it fits really well with the the earthy kind of uh, deery look to him. And yes, I know you're like, oh, I want my I want my different colors, but this is kind of like this isn't exactly the normalest looking color for a deer. Yellow isn't exactly a deer color. Yeah. And uh, I think the brown mixes very well with the yellow in its mane, or in the yellow in its coat. Because that brown and yellow go together really well. Yes. Yes, it does. The color coordination on this one is just fantastic. It's very nice, and I really like the colors on this OC specifically. And I think it fits very well. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of his uh, hooves very much, but uh, whatever. This deer pony, it's whatever the fuck you're going to do with it. And uh, I think the fact that his horns grow as he gets older is really nice touch. One thing I would like to see is this pony without, like, because I, I, is that mud on their hooves and stuff? Like, yes, I think so. Yeah, like yes, you'd think yes, that it would get washed off by jumping in all the puddles. Because I mean, they're not oh, usually Lord. always muddy puddles. A lot of water in puddles. Um, but I, th- I would like to see what their hooves looked like without the mud, because the way that I want to see the way that they do the cloven hooves in like if it's the same color or how the, or and stuff like that. Just be an mm. interesting touch. Mm-hmm. But yeah. That it. Moving on then. To the voting. Uh, I brought in Midnight Heart by Kiki Oyaoi. Uh Commander brought in Draco Pony by Miles. Uh, Medi brought in Sugar Star by M. Cage. Smooth brought in Blue Polied by Sayako. Uh, I'm not going... gonna lie, I did not know the, how to pronounce that name. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, going back in the same order we presented the OCs in, and not being able to vote for the o- for the OC you brought to the party, Smooth, who do you vote for for good OC this week? I think I'm going to have to give it to Sugar Star. It was definitely up there for both Midnight and Sugar, but I had to do a lot of 
weighing options in my head, and eventually I just lean a little bit more towards sugar. Oh man, decisions are hard, but it's it's definitely it's definitely between Midnight at Heart and Sugar Star. But I think I'm gonna have to give it to Midnight Heart because I just sort of I like I, I like how like fleshed out everything about it is, and the, like there's like descriptions for all, all sorts of things, and how it's like it has a lot of world building elements. But I also really love Sugar Star. It's, it's so hard. Uh, of all of them pre- presented this week, I think I liked Midnight's the most. I love butterflies, just to let you all know. I mean, like, I think they're probably my favorite insects just because they're not as, like, scary or freaky as some of them could be. I know some people really do like insects, and they're like, no, they're all beautiful, but really... Oh my god, fucking blue butterflies, man. I can't get enough of them. So I'm going to have to give mine to blue poli... 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 poli However lady. it's pronounced. However it's pronounced, Sayako, I give it to your OC. So... Yay, go me. Go Kikyo. The modified wins. Uh, yeah. Moving on. Moving on to the bad OCs. Uh, I brought in... Muddy Splats by Ask Splash Sparks. Commander brought in Nova by Nova Wildpaw. Medi brought in Brucey the Shark Pony by Assassin Fox 00. And Smooth brought in Racing Heart by Luna Sakura. Smooth, who do you vote for? I'm going to give mine to Muddy Splats. I just wasn't really a fan of them. Hmm. Commander? I'm also going to give mine to Money Splats, but I did like him, kind of, but I just really liked the other two. I liked the other two more. Well, the OCs presented this week were pretty okay. Uh, but I think I might want to give my vote to uh, Racing Heart. And I gotta give mine to Nova. So, Mums shuts down this week? Mums or wins mom both. shuts up this week. Oh! So, Maddie, do we have any questions? <gasps> but yeah, uh, we do have questions this week, Mummified. Sick! <laughs> Sick! <laughs> Anyways, let's get questions. into them. We got the, all the, we got three questions from one person, and it was a uh, kitty Triple. cat's that. What are you all going to be doing for Halloween, and what are your pony sewers going to be doing for Halloween? Okay, so uh, what my pony Sona would probably be doing? Well, I'd like to think that, you know, we, us here, would be, uh, you know, hanging out together because I like, th- I like the idea that all of our OCs are friends, even though Medi seems to have a dick of a character that says, like, no, fuck you guys, I'm going to go do my own thing. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I, like, I like the idea of either, you know, hanging out with uh, uh, Adam I don't... and... Touchpad and smooth sailing. What? What? Cosmic Adam. No. That's what it was. When did when did Touchpad become a brooding asshole? I don't know. You you said you said like a bunch of times. It's like no no no. Fuck those guys. I'm gonna go do my own That's thing. That's a joke. Okay. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> anyway, Christ, Touchpad yeah, is either, just me. Either I uh, yeah. We probably go hang out or do something. We dress up, meet up somewhere, grab a bite to eat, maybe grab a drink. I don't know. Hang out. Mummified, or if I'm not mummified, we're all of ours. As said in episode one, our pony sonas. They're just us, but ponies. And in my case, changeling. Well, you're you're very changeling esque. So anyway, no. Or if it's a world where our OCs were not friends or didn't know each other, it, I'd probably just you know. Give out candy at my suit shop. But what me, myself, uh, and I are going to be doing, uh, I'm either going to be going down to Tucson to hang out and go to a party there, go to a party with my friends, or go to a local meetup, a part of the Arizona Bronies, and go hang out and do that. Uh, As to what I'm dressing up as, my pony Sono, obviously, would be mummified, uh, dressed up as a mummy. Uh, but me, I don't know if I want to work on this Van Gogh uh, costume I've been thinking about, or maybe I'll just be Spike again. Because obviously, if you have an awesome Spike cosplay, you kind of want to go with that again. I honestly, I don't have any plans in real life. I feel like 
pony me being a pony so I would also not really want to do too much. But I, I just imagined myself just sort of like huddled up in my uh, my little house wherever I am, just sort of like wrapped up, like just watching scary movies or something because I, I do I do love me some good horror, which there's not as much good horror as there should be, but I like it when there is. Cosmic, cosmic, Shh. open up. Oh, what the fuck is that? Cosmic, oh. open up. Oh. We're going out. It's the popo. Cosmic, come on. Get, and get and your shit together. I'm like, leave me alone. Cosmic, grab, pull, go. Let's party. No. We're going to no, go do no, something. No, no, no. No, you're not no, sitting no. in your house all day. No, we are going no. to go do something. No. No, you're coming no, you with can, me, no, asshole. No, you can sit in my I house, am too. Older. I am older, and you are coming with me. You're Door slams stop. and touch pads. Door slams and we... popcorn. We're ready to watch that movie now. Cosmic? Where'd you go? You just hear okay, the distance. I guess we'll just watch the uh, probably the same thing I do every year. I hang out with some friends IRL, and we hand out candy at one of our friends' house, and then we just walk around town for a little bit until we all secret. We all like horror movies, just die off and go home. And you're a seat. Uh, touchpad will probably just be doing something along the same lines as hanging out with friends and. Maybe dressing up as something if he found the time. Can't make time with all that cheese he's making. Uh, Touchpad. Yeah, Touchpad. Probably just hang out with some friends. Touchpad. Mollified. Nobody wants to hang out on Halloween. Fuck Too it. busy making nope. cheese. Nope. You're done making cheese. You're coming with me. No. Cheese, there's a cheese sale going on. Cheese. Pumpkin shaped oh, cheese. No. Grab. Grab. Pull. Well, I guess in the universe where all of our OCs are friends, I'd probably go and hang out against my will because apparently we're doing things. Smooth? Yeah, apparently smooth. mollified yeah. is doing things. Smooth. Nobody else actually cares. Open store, hey, yeah, uh, whatever. Excuse Let's me, go. uh goes. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen have you seen Smooth around? He kind of he's about yay tall, purple. Secretly a changeling? who are standing there are just like mollified, shut the fuck up. Like I, I'm standing behind Mummified, giving the, just say you're sick, just say you're sick, like, just go, don't go with us. He secretly disguised as some other random pony, it's like, hey, have you seen a smooth sailing pony around? He's, uh, we're gonna go out, I mean, we're looking for him. Oh, uh, uh, uh no, no, I no, Mummified, actually. Mummified, just to spite you, I disguise as you. Oh, hey there, good chap. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I, I gotta say, that's a fine mustache you got right there. Well, thank you. Hey. I think yours looks terrible. Oh, this <laughs> I, is, I, I'm hurt by that. I think but, you look uh, like shit. Uh, hey, Commander, uh, uh, maybe if they keep arguing about mustaches, we can sneak away. Have you seen my good friend, Smooth? No. He probably oh. thinks you're a dick, though. You should oh. just leave him behind. Hmm. Wait a minute. Punches in the face. You're Smooth. You're coming with us. <laughs> Why did you punch me? Why would you you're... punch smooth? Punches more because friendship. That's just a dick thing to do. Because friendship. That's why. No, I punch you Come in on. the face. We're hitting the town. Literally. As we continue walking. <laughs> you, we we just go around, around the town just punching buildings. <laughs> Basically, us as a group on Halloween is, or on any holiday really, is a bad idea because partying and us. Ugh. Because mums will drag you to go do anything. And uh, and then we'll just Moms tell him fuck off and you leave. Because 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 Mo- what Mollify doesn't understand out. is the fact that he may be able to do this in a fictional setting, but in real life we'll just be like no. And uh, if your pony Sona weren't ponies, or in your case Smooth, they do specify this, not a changeling. What race would you be in Equestria? Mmm, Pegasus. So not wait, ponies, there. Mummified. No, not, n- uh, not a pony. Like, has to be something else, like not Earth, Unicorn, yes. Pegasus. Mm. Oh, fuck. Um, Diamond Dog? I think? I mean... Oh, fuck, jeez. I mean, that, that seems like an easy thing to go to, and I'm, like, questioning maybe Griffin, but then again, no, I think it'd be pretty much Diamond Dog. Yeah. I think Moth would be a Diamond Dog, yeah. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, Jur- Juris would be a Diamond Dog. Your turn, Commander. I'm, Commander. I'm just trying to think of all the other different races that, that that we actually have to choose from that are not pony. Mm. 
We got zebras. Diamond, you know, uh, griffins. You know, I, th- I think maybe a zebra. Sea pony. Zebra. It'd, be, it'd be pretty cool. I mean, like, okay, I think a lot of the, the different races are pretty cool, but I think, yeah. Zebra. Sea pony? Or, or sea pony. Either or. Mm, bison. I'd either be a pegasus or an earth pony. Not exactly sure. I'd want to be an earth pony because earth ponies are just better, but I don't feel like... I, don't, I just don't feel like I deserve that bestness. I deserve... Unfortunately, I deserve the weakness of pegasi. And I'm terrified of heights, so I can't even freaking use the wings correctly. Okie dokie, Smooth. That's all the questions. Oh, okay. But if you have any questions, or OCs, or in fact you just want to give us some fan art, or tell us how great our show is, which in fact well, is a lovely thing you should do. Well, you should uh, send those all down to our uh, plugs here. These plugs are uh, eurocsucks.dvnerd.com, at eurocsucks at twitter.com, eurocsuckspodcast at gmail.com, and eurocsuckspodcast.tumblr.com. All right. That was fantastic. I love this episode. I'm, I, I really am happy about how this all worked out this week for a hybrid. Now, uh, next week, we is going to be, obviously, we're going to be having an episode spooky. premiering on the 31st. So that means we get to be spooky with, our OC, with the OCs we bring to the party. So we're going to be bringing in anything that is dead, demonic, uh, not of the living, anything that has a general Dead, spooky, not of the living, you know, those different... Undead, <laughs> zombie, uh, Redundant, deceased... the same uh, thing. Has ceased the process of life. Or, some sort or of other monster. scary kind of thing, like vampires or werewolves yeah. or things like that. Spooks. Or, yeah, or creatures or of any of sort. All. Things Bronies. that in Things that inspire... Uh, uh, senses of fear or uh, something along those lines. You know, it, it's going to be a spooky episode. We're going to have spooky OCs. We're going to be spooky. It's going to be all spooktacular with our characters. So come on down for next week for our spooky episode. But then following that episode, we're going to be doing other. So that uh, on the for the seventh of October or sorry seventh of November. We will be doing other OCs, which means like we're going to be doing like any any kind of uh, creature that we weren't able to get to this week. So unique, or this, kind of. Yeah, thing. unique characters, not not Earth, Pegasus, Unicorn, or Alicorn, uh, but anything that we really want to feature that's not like a standard pony. Yeah, um, or a hybrid, yeah. or a hybrid. Yes, uh, but other than that, after that, you'll have to wait till next week for to hear about the following week. But I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, so send us in your uh, spook ponies if you haven't already. Uh, but in the meantime, I have been uh, Mummified Thunderbirds. I've been joined by Commander Sparkle, Benny Bobo, and Smooth Sailing. And your OC sucks. <laughs> <laughs>